Okay, we have a case of Monster Menagerie 2. I haven't opened a lot of this, so I would like to jump into it. And we're going to hope to get a bit older. Get those good knife cut feels. As we open the plastic on this case. Oh, this brick. There's just some barcodes. We want to check out what store and where I got it from. And all that good news. I can spoil it by telling you ahead of time it was the game or you can visit them on Facebook. The Gamers Wharf. W-H-A-R-F. Or you can order online at thegamerswharf.com. Free shipping on uh, orders over 100 bucks. Little place I put some time in doing some work. And I try to get some makeshift recording stuff up here. So I'm a makeshift type of guy. Yes, the other word for that is poor. But uh, I crack open some of these boxes. I haven't opened any of these. So pretty much everything should be new and an uncharted territory for me. Let's see if Griffin verse. So maybe I have opened some of this. Oh, is that a hippogriff? It is a hippogriff. So that's cool. Then I got just a regular bugabear. I believe it's a female with the type of executioner's axe. Oh, that's a cool looking goblin. I believe he's a hero. Nope, just a regular run of the mill gobbo. Got a skull cap and an axe. Cool sculpts, cool new stuff. And then I got another goblin variant. The dark haired with a sword. <coughs> <laughs> These are the yellow skin goblins, though they're not the goblins from Chult. A lot of the early sculpts of goblins or D&D &D sculpts are yellow-brownish uh, skin, unlike the green skin of Pathfinder. And then we got a clay golem. I do believe I have a couple of those. So if I've not opened it, I've bought some or traded for some... Cool looking little kobold with a little pick. You never have enough goblins and kobolds, so this might have been the right set to pick up. Ah, a hobgoblin. Sword, shield, and looks like chainmail. Super cool. I believe somebody picked up my other drow that I traded for the drow elite warrior. Now, I have one. That's super good. I'm gonna say super as many times as possible, I suppose. Super brick, super good, super time, super, super. A lot of these boxes are light. <clears throat> Super expensive, just a uh, courtesy. I don't like things that are taken or lost. I like to try to get things back out as quick as possible. Then a knoll with a flail. 
It's one of the sculpts I don't have, so I might swap him out for the newer Knowles. Then, a Sahagan. <clears throat> With Trident. This is a pretty cool little set. We're halfway through. I haven't seen anything that screams, uh... Oh my goodness, we've made a fortune. But that's okay. That's not what this game is about. A Deva. Complete with stand. Oh. Nope, these are Planetar Angels. P L A N E. Planetar, Planetar. Oh, not good with my DD English today. The Orc. One of the cool sculpts I like. Always good to have as many Orc Warriors as possible, as well as Goblins and Kobolds. One thing I hope I picked up, because I didn't have a ton of them, the Giant Rat, or just Rat. I mean, that is pretty big to be a five-foot Rat. Repeat in the brick. I have acquired a second Sahagan. Purple armor is just beautiful, though. I know you can't probably see the glisten that it has, the almost glittery quality, probably through my camera, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. This time. It is a Gyno Sphinx. I am trying to get you guys the best look in there that we can get. Super cool. That is something I didn't have. You picked up a kobold with a sort of just mining pick. Always cool to have a million kobolds. Ah, super excited for this repeat. Rat. I did not have... I had swarm of rats and swarm of cranium rats. I didn't have giant rats. So, with well, the ship I just got and unboxed earlier, I could have maybe a plague or a blight coming. This looks like an orc variant that I haven't seen very often. Instead of the sword or axe that he had the other time, it's a hammer. It's got kind of a different styled helm. Oh, we have three left. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Always excited to have new things. Ah, a player favorite. They request me to at least run one, if not four or five, in every module. A black pudding, everyone's favorite. They love it. If you're a DM and you don't have two or three black puddings, you have to get them. They're a player favorite. They absolutely love them. They say, DM, please destroy all of my gear, and you can oblige and say, okay, if I must. A human wizard. Nice paint job, good. I, I like it. This, and this will be contradictory, so forgive me. Looks like an invisible. Oh, oh, wow, oh. That is cool. I kid you not. I opened the invisible gnome with the pie that I showed you earlier, and inside the packaging was an invisible gnome with a pie. We got a double very rare miss pack. These are things you cannot pay for on camera. That's amazing. A double very rare. That is fantastic. And a bully wug. This was another thing I was excited that was in this set and I want to get more. Uh, 
The individual I married is quite obsessed with grung frogs and other creatures. She loves my bullywug, and I think she kidnapped the only one I had. So it will be great that I have another bullywug. But still, a double very rare pack. That is insanity. Uh, the warg. Goblins often ride these monsters into battle. Warg, warg. Ooh. I think I see something. One of our big hits on the pack, finally. It is an Uthgart Barbarian. The axe and dagger variant, or axe and club, or dagger and club variant. Jeez, I'll get my weapons right eventually, too. Still reeling from that double, very rare pack. These are things that don't happen often. And to get it on camera is fantastic. You see Hag? I see Hag. Yes, it's so good. I even came with a pun. We opened a sea hag there. Ah, uh, another thing I'm excited about. Just in the normal variety. That I think he's an uncommon, but I'm glad to have a ghast. So I can distinguish my ghasts from my ghouls. Yes, yes, yes. One box left. I don't think we're topping a double very rare. Uh, that was just fantastic luck. I do hope we get another copy of that gnome uh, or, uh, halfling with the pie. Because I would love to... I'll probably do it before this video goes up. Surprise my other player with the regular and an invisible vision version. If not, I might just do it anyways, because, you know, I'm that guy. So we have a stone golem. The last large in the of the brick. And it looks like... Yes, this is a bugbear executioner. Fully. This is the one I was thinking it was earlier. It's not. It's the different sculpt. Huge executioner's hood and axe. Bugbears with that giant reach. That'll add some flavor to my bugbear teams when I send them into combat. Then we have the elf fighter. These older sets, a lot of the bases are starting to cup and warp at the bottom. This is our elf fighter. Could easily be a cleric or a paladin if we so chose. Hammer and shield usually screams of such things. And lastly, it's a cool thing that I didn't have any of, and I'm excited because they do pop up in modules. A Grick. Well, thank you all for tuning in as usual and spending some time with me, the 13 minutes and 23 seconds of your life. I'm going to sign off shortly, but we'll take another just glance across the mayhem. Still having that double, very rare pack. That was amazing. Just amazing. So, like I said, I'm probably going to pass on the kindness by uh, coughing up my copy of the gnome. She's like a dollar, and the very rare is like five dollars for the invisible version. And I'm going to hook up that guy, uh, probably. I'm almost 100% I'm going to hook him up, because we don't want to lose our amenities. And at the end of the day, we have to take care of ourselves and each other. So thanks for tuning in. And as always, look out for your community. Look out for each other. If a player doesn't have a mini, try to spare one if you can. It just makes the day and the time and D&D that much more fun and better for everyone. Thanks. Have a great day.